time. Hey everybody. Sorry there's a little bit of wind. I'm in Daggett, California on my way out to uh, Siberia. And I wanted to show you a uh, kind of a historic um, place. Some of the buildings, like those buildings behind me, kind of historic. The one just in front of me I want to show you is the home to a historic contraption. Or at least it was the place where a historic contraption was uh, was built. Excuse me. Let me show you. Oh, see that? That's cool. Try to flip this around. How do I flip the camera? Oh, there we go. There it is. <clears throat> this building right here. So, as it goes, out in the Death Valley area a long time ago, there was a um, uh, a need to be able to haul ore and uh, minerals like uh, borate and salt salt like products out of the uh, uh, hi there out of the uh, deep desert out into the to the markets to the railroads and they needed they were using um, mules the 20 mule teams you may have heard of the 24 mule team borax and someone decided they'd come up with an idea of making like a steam locomotive kind of like that see that that big old forklift right there but it wasn't like that it was made out of steam and it was called dynamo and its job was to haul the instead of using 20 mules they would haul the borate and borax out of the, um, the deep desert to the railroad line. And this is where that contraption was made. This particular shed. The shed has a lot of history. This is not Route 66 right here. We're in Daggett. Route 66 is on the other side of the tracks. So this is where it was made. I did some research, some history research, and learned that. This was also after that, it became a number of things, including, as you can see, Hello Bill, R.M. Campbell Garage. So it became a garage, and now it's just kind of used for, uh, you know, kind of a junkyard, like so many places, you know, just the debris and refuse, the floatsome and jetsome of the desert seems to collect and pile up in places like this, as is so often the case. There's actually a, a little uh, placard over here, a histor history marker. I stopped over here to get uh, some water at the uh, Daggett Market, over the Desert Market for Daggett over there. Um, it's a, uh, I forgot a lot of water. Look at that old, old door. Isn't that great? I wonder if Dinah came through this. See if we got an old you know, touch pad. No trespassing, indeed. Watch program. So Dino was quite large, much bigger than this. There's photos of it, old historic photos. Then he, he's got the metal around it. This is Daggett Garage up there again. Here it is, Daggett Garage. The Daggett Garage began life in the 1880s at the Borax town of Marion, located on the northeast shore of Calico Dry Lake, as a locomotive repair roundhouse for the narrow gauge Borate and Daggett Railroad. Daggett blacksmith Seymour Alf used a 20 mule team to move the bowl to move the building to the Waterloo Mill and Mine southwest of Calico circa 1898-96 where it served a similar purpose for a silver ore narrow gauge railroad. Walter Alf, Seymour Alf's son, moved the building to its current location in Daggett circa 1912. The building was an auto repair shop on the National Old Trails Highway until World War II when it became a mess hall for United States Army troops guarding the local railroad bridges, the forts, no, the the Fouts Garage and Machine oh, Shop. Oh, that's an that's a hard stop. The Fouts, uh, the Fouts Garage and Machine Shop in the building. What? <laughs> Until you, you know, guarding the local railroad bridges. The Fouts brothers bought the building in 1946 and operated an automotive garage and machine shop in the building until the mid-1980s. The building is currently owned and operated by the Golden Mining and Trucking Company. Black dedicated 2003, the Billy Holcomb chapter of E. Clampus Vidius and the Daggett Historical Society, Incorporated. Nice uh, metal plaque. Doesn't look like much happens over here. This all looks pretty much abandoned too. And then back here, the bike's just back here. And uh, 
the desert market. I'll show you a little more. And then I'll shut off because I, uh, I plan to get some more. Maybe a sandwich or something. And then head on out to uh, Siberia. That old uh, caboose. I, I, you know, I should show one of those to my daughter and ask her what she thinks that is. <laughs> she probably has no idea. Looks like there used to be something here, huh? Cellar or something? Who knows? So one of these buildings here was a hotel, I believe. There were lots of saloons. This was a real wild west town. And you can see next to this old stone building, there's an old wooden building with a false front. What does that say? I've never noticed that. It's got some writing up there. But look at that. something something and notions something and notions I huh, can't quite make out what that says you can see inside hmm. and here's the uh, desert market and there's the old GSA waiting for me as always Got over a hundred thousand miles. I don't imagine it's not that long. So anyway, uh, I'll uh, stop here. Thank you all for joining me. Have a, a great rest of the day, and I'll. Be